Hi everyone, Mr. DeMuth here to help you create your own Google site for our self-image project from the beginning of our new unit. Easiest way to get to Google Sites is Google, Google Sites, and hit the sign in. Since I'm signed in, it should just bounce me right over. Then what you're going to want to do, you can see some of the sites I've been shared and some that I've made. You can click this plus button and that's going to create you a Google Site. So your Google Site comes up and it'll look something like this. And you want to go ahead and give it a title. Expand my heading a little bit. And then I can also change the font if I like and do all of the different functions you would find using Google Docs or something like that. You can also, I don't like this background, it's not bad, but I like something a little more custom. So I'm just gonna go do a quick image search because that's the easiest way to get stuff for me if I'm not putting my own photos up. And I'll change my background to this wave here. So this starts to give it more of a custom feel, it's things I identify more with. Um, to get photos of yourself in your phone, go through or wherever you have your digital photos, find the photos you want to use and upload those straight to your Google Drive. You might want to create a folder within your Google Drive so everything's in one place. I call my uh, Google site vid because I was making this video. So I had to make a an example and learn how to use it myself before I can teach you. Um, these are layouts here. I usually started with this first one, put three boxes and I can add text. And this is where um, you can, you know, make this about yourself. Um, one thing is my passions and things I like to do are gardening, surfing, painting, cooking, and projects. And so that's, you know, it's one of my passions. I'm sure I left some out. I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo from my drive this time. This is where I went through my phone and added personal photos. And again, you'll see down here, um, I made a folder just for that. So all my pictures are in one place. And some other pics got in there too. Um, so I'll put the gardening one in there. And again, I'm gonna make, I would make probably some other headings. And friends. And so then I can add some more descriptive text and I can add some photos. One really cool thing I saw on this Ortiz Google site was this image carousel. I really like this one where you can insert several images. And so I can there have a sort of scrolling carousel of images with family. I'm gonna shift click a whole bunch of these, throw them in there. Whatever you want to show on the front of your web page, you want to drag that photo to the front, and then that'll be the one they first see. And again, I kind of want this to be where my images were, so I can actually drag it and drop it, I believe, right here. Ooh. Hmm. Didn't want to do it that time, not sure why. Well, that'd be tricky then. I'm going to put it right here. But I like how I've got sort of the stagger now. I didn't have that before. I'm going to give this also a background. Kind of stick with my water theme. I'm gonna try this one here. Let's see. And it kind of gives you a background. I don't really like that, but I'm gonna leave it for now, um, just because I need to keep this video short. Other things you can do is have collapsible text where you like click on friends and maybe it opens up to a little few sentences about your friends. Um, button divider placeholder. Uh, this map is interesting if you want to like show where you live or something like that or where you were born. You can put a map with that precise location. Um, you can add things from docs, slides, sheets, forms, charts, all of that you can pop right in there. I can add another section down here using the templates if I wanted. And then proceed to fill more information in as I go. Um, again, lots you can do. 
edits much like a Google Doc. When you're done, you want to publish it. You want to give it your similar nomenclature there. I did D to move portfolio because this is the second one I've made. Then I had to put a two at the end, but you shouldn't have to do that. Once you publish it to turn it in, you're going to want to copy this link. And that's what you're going to attach to um, the assignment in Google Classroom to turn in so that I get that link and I can go actually visit your website. Let's go take a look at some other teacher websites and crash the sort of Mr. Bowles website. It's just pretty awesome. Nice haircut. I love it. <laughs> 